41 out of 72 security vendors flagged this file as malicious, which it was. Windows security deleted it off of my computer immediately. Let's investigate a supply chain attack. Now we are walking through the scenario via Hack the Boxes, Sherlock's. Engage in thrilling investigative challenges that test your defensive security skills. With Sherlock's, you'll be asked to dive into the aftermath of a targeted cyber attack and unravel the dynamics behind them based on the knowledge provided. Ready to start the investigation? And this video is sponsored by Hack the Box. Now, I've been running through some Sherlock's to actually help me prepare for the Holmes CTF, which this is Hack the Box's first blue team CTF. Now, this is a five day long event with free registration and free participation. And you can't beat freeness. And this includes five blue teamed themed challenges with four scenarios. Right here, threat intelligence, SOC, DFIR, and malware reversing with a $10,000 plus prize pool. Welcome to Hack the Box's first ever blue CTF. This gauntlet of Sherlock style challenges leads you through a case that has yet to be solved. So, it seems very investigative, Sherlocky, blue team, detective scenarios going on. Which, I do in fact like blue team, believe it or not. And I know everyone could use a little bit more blue team in their lives. Now, this is a highly gamified and accessible CTF. Anyone can do it. Whether you're new to CTFs, a cybersecurity pro, or an organization looking to train your team, this will give you lots of good hands-on experience, no matter the skill level. So if you want to do the CTF, jump in, um, do a little bit of blue team. Blue team is fun and you get to investigate stuff like Sherlock. So why wouldn't you? Now let's see what's going on with this supply chain attack, shall we? And for this one, we are playing teamwork. It is a Friday afternoon and the SOC at Edney Consulting LTD has received alerts from the workstation of Jason Longfield, a software engineer on the development team regarding the execution of some discovery commands. Jason has just gone on holiday and is not available by phone. The workstation appears to have been switched off, so the only evidence we have at the moment is an export of his mailbox containing today's messages. As the company was recently the victim of a supply chain attack, this case is being taken seriously and the cyber threat intelligence team is being called in to determine the severity of the threat. Here, downloaded the zip file from the Sherlock, and we have all of the emails sent to Jason. So here is one of them, a reference manual for people who design and build software. From sidebar.io to Jason. And you can view the email this way. And here we have opportunity to invest in NFT game project which I don't know about you, but I would not invest in an NFT game project. To Jason from Theodore Totenhaupt, that's how you say it, at developingdreams.site. And then you click here, you can find a beta version of the game for testing, um, which there's a link in here. So that's also suspicious. Also, an NFT game site is also suspicious because NFTs, so let's click on the link, see what's up. Hmm, can't reach this page. Um, so let's check Wayback Machine. Into the site in Wayback Machine, and we have seven items here, saved seven times. So let's click on one, we'll do the fourth. And here it is, where blockchain and gaming meets innovation. Crafting the future of gaming through decentralized experiences. Yay. Why developing dreams? Blockchain expertise. Player-centric design and proven track record. Hey. There's my man Theodore Totenhoff, CEO and founder. Our products, CryptoQuest and Detank War. You know, I totally forgot to fill this out. So identify the sender of the suspicious email. It was that Theodore guy. There, Theodore. The suspicious email came from a custom domain. Identify its creation date. Oh, okay. Doing a little who is action here. Okay. Registered on. So month and date, which, yeah. The domain was registered shortly before the suspicious email was received 
which likely corresponds to the time where the threat actor was planning this campaign, which miter attack sub technique of the resource development tactic corresponds to this activity. Um, girl, which sub technique of resource development? Lots of uh, sub techniques here. And we have T1583, acquire infrastructure, which is like the umbrella technique, and then the sub techniques, uh, domains, DNS server, uh, VPS. So, domains, yeah. And T1583.001. The previously identified domain appears to belong to a company was the full URL of the company's page on X. Well, as we can see right here, here it is. And it is available on the web, so we don't even need to use the Wayback Machine for this, but this is the URL. And bam, develop underscore dreams. Reading the suspicious email carefully, it appears that the threat actor first contacted the victim using the previously identified social media profile. Which minor attack sub-technique of resource development tactic corresponds to this activity? Social media accounts. Oh, establish social media accounts. Because that's establish. This one is compromise. Okay, that's a different. Establish versus compromise. They established an X account. 1585.001. What is the name of the game the threat actor would like us to collaborate on? Well, join our NFT battle adventure, D Tank War. And it is D Tank War. What is the SHA-256 hash of the executables shared by the threat actor? Um, okay. Click on beta. And here it is, beta release. Okay, let's go to virus total. Okay, Windows security deleted the executable, uh, which means it's real malware. Uh, so we're going to have to spin up a VM and do it that way because it's easier, it's safer. Don't download malware on your local host, uh, your base machine, unless you know what you're doing. Okay, we are on Kali, and we have beta release. Let's just extract that to desktop, sure. Password, which is the password from the email. And here it is, very small text beta release. Okay, so let's open command line, cd to desktop, ls, uh, there's the executable. So we just run a SHA-256 sum on the executable, like this, run it, and here it is, boom. As part of the preparation of the tools for the attack, the threat actor hosted this file, presumably malware, it is malware, Windows security, made sure of that, on its infrastructure, which MITRE attack sub-technique of the resource development tactic corresponds to this activity. Hosted the file, malware on its infrastructure. So, compromise infrastructure, compromise accounts, acquire infrastructure, stage capabilities. Okay, upload malware. Yeah. T1608.001. Correct. Based on the information you have gathered so far, do some research to identify the name of the threat actor who may have carried out this attack. Okay. Well, we're back at the VM. Now, virus total, which you can use virus total to see the a uh, hash of it as well. Um, but I was on Kali, so I was like, eh, command line. You know, you know how it is. Anyway, 41 out of 72 community score. 41 out of 72 security vendors flagged this file as malicious, which it was. Windows security deleted it off of my computer immediately. Um, details, relations, behavior. Creation time, 2023, first seen in the wild, 2024. File is not signed, obviously. Draw down there again. Hey, VX Underground. File present on vxunderground.org. Shout out, VX Underground. This indicator was mentioned in a report titled Moonstone Sleet emerges as new North Korean threat actor with a new bag of tricks. Reference, Microsoft Security Blog. Yep, Moonstone Sleet. So let's do Moonstone Sleet. And correct. Which nation is the threat actor believed to be associated with? Girl, North Korea. Oh, spelled that wrong. North Korea. Oh, spelled it wrong again. North Korea. How many times can I say North Korea? Another campaign from this threat actor used a Trojanized version of the well-known software to infect victims. What is the name of this tool? Trojanized version of a well-known software. Here's the words Trojanized, and here's Putty, well-known software. Let's go with that. Yay. Which minor attack technique corresponds to the activity of deploying Trojanized and manipulated software? Well, supply chain compromise. Compromise chain. 
that one. T1195.002. Say, we love software supply chain security around here. Our company wants to protect itself from other supply chain attacks. So in documenting more about the set doctor, the CTI team found that other security researchers were also tracking a group whose techniques closely match Moonstone's sleep and discovered a new supply chain campaign around the end of July 2024. What technology is this campaign targeting? It's three letters. Um, NPM has been in the news recently for a supply chain attack. Oddly enough, NPM, let's go with it. And correct. Uh, I wonder if it's related. Probably. I don't know. I haven't really researched it enough. And it does not seem like it's related as all of these uh, were from 2024. We now need some indicators to be able to rule out that other systems have been compromised. What is the name and version of the latest malicious package published? And if we go here, uh, the initial lead. As part of our continuous effort to ensure that software from NPM in Pi... Pi Pi? PY... PI? Ecosystems use. We have discovered two samples published in NPM on July 7th, 2024. This one. Part hat hash. They say five times fast. The malicious package is downloaded an additional payload from a C2 server. What's its IP address? Ooh. Ooh, okay. From the package analysis? Yeah. Allow making HTTP requests. Package DB. Correct. The payload after being renamed is finally executed by a legitimate Windows binary to evade defenses. Which minor attack technique corresponds to this activity? That one would be this one, system binary proxy execution, run DLL 32, which is T1218.011, system binary proxy execution, run DLL 32. And with that, we have solved this Sherlock. Yay. So that was fun. Lots of good time investigating um miter attack stuff email stuff uh getting more insight onto this malware that i did not know existed uh so yeah pretty pretty cool and thank you to hack the box for sponsoring this video much appreciated uh go check out holmes ctf uh should be really fun and with that make sure to like subscribe punch all the buttons in the face and i will see you in the next video